And we're back. Welcome to IGN Live at Comic-Con. I'm Jesse King. No, you're not. That's me. That's right. <laughs> And I'm Sydney Goodman, and ever since the first Uncharted game was released on PlayStation 3, I've wanted somebody to make an Uncharted movie. Okay, are you gonna read it for me? No, you go ahead. Okay, okay, I'll take it from here. But instead of waiting for Hollywood to make one, director Alan Unger and living legend Nathan Fillion decided to make it themselves. They are here with us to tell us all about it. I mean, we've both watched it like way too many times. Yes. Oh, um, that's for the view count. Okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. It was, it was basically Sydney and I. Two million, the other 400,000 is so yeah, the public, probably. they love it, but we're the real people. Okay. Yeah, right. totally. We appreciate this. Okay, time. and um, we want to have a little bit of fun. So Sydney came up with this lovely game. Okay, we're putting you on the spot, Mr. Right. Fillion. Oh, God. Okay, Alan, you can help as well. I'll but watch. Obviously, Nathan Drake, like, he's the man. He can, like, solve all these cool puzzles. So we think you can, too. This is a puzzle for um, kids who are age three to five, so it should be really easy. Mm. Okay, so here, put your hands out like that. Okay, so you have to make this into a sphere. Like, it should be a, oh, here, I'm gonna give you all the pieces. That's kind of cheating. Oh, here's, there's more. There you go. So, oh yeah, God. so um, for the duration of this interview, you will be able to try to put this together. And it should be really easy because it's for kids, you know? It's for if you're three to five, it's super simple. I feel like simple. there's a trap here. No, no it's trap. A trap. It's a trap. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're <laughs> such geeks. Okay, oh my goodness. Okay, okay. but um, we also want to talk about Uncharted, so. Yeah, so while well, Nathan is doing that, <laughs> Alan, oh, question wow. for you. Yeah. So, I mean, this, this short, this short is, it, you know, it has Sully, it has Elena, it has Nathan. Where in the timeline does it fall? Good question. Ooh, okay. um, so if you pay close attention to what uh, the villain says at the beginning, he's mm -hmm. omitting uh, everything from the third and fourth game. So this takes place between two and three. Okay. Okay. We needed to do, you need to have the ring. You can't do Drake without the ring. Oh, you yeah. So do if Drake. we're gonna say, oh, this takes place later, it wouldn't make a lot of sense. And I feel like somebody would have come after me for it. Okay, so yeah. Sydney is like a huge Uncharted fan. Okay. When she found out we were interviewing you guys, she was like, oh my God, I need to be a part of this. But so many people love Uncharted. Why did you guys get on board? Why were you like, okay, we gotta do this? Look, uh, you Nathan, play the, you're doing pretty you good job. The, yeah, how are you doing, by the Wait. way? Thanks, really good. <laughs> really He's good. actually like kind of killing it. So let's distract job. him. Answer that question. You know, <laughs> uh, I think, I think we are. What, is, what kind of shot is that? <laughs> oh, no. What kind of show is this? <laughs> it's a kid show, teenage so, age show. Yeah. So. <laughs> I think the, I think the reason we all love Uncharted so okay. much mm -hmm. is because it's, it invests us in character, it invests us in story. Yeah. The, the reason I have to go from point A to point B, um, I feel motivated when I play Uncharted. I feel invested in the character. When uh, Nathan Drake is betrayed, I feel it. The brother stuff that was yeah. going on oh, in man. four, uh, Pew, single yeah. tear down my well, yeah. maybe more than Sound one. Effect. I definitely have more than one. But it's you can really get behind him. You can yeah, relate totally. to the character. You can relate to the hero. And yeah. you know, he's not like perfect. We were saying he's not this perfect archetype. He's got flaws. He's he scrambles. He's not graceful in a lot of ways. He he's very relatable. Completely. And I mean, I think you guys really you can tell that a couple of Uncharted fans like came behind this and made it happen. So like, how exactly did it? You make this happen? Did you just have Nathan Fillion's like phone number and you're like, hey, yeah, man. what's up? Man? No, we had a mutual friend, uh, Alex mm -hmm. Leibovich, who's a producer who produced my very first film. So we both grew up in Toronto. He moved out to LA, and uh, I was getting ready to do a film uh, that got pushed. So I had this window of, of there's an opportunity, mm -hmm. and I called him up. I said, listen, I pitched you this idea a couple of years ago. What do you think about? asking Nathan or popping him a text. He's like, he's not a video game guy, so he doesn't get it. Like, he didn't understand sort of what this could mean to a lot of people. Uh, I sent him like an essay. I, I emailed him this, <laughs> I'm like, you gotta read this. This is exactly why you gotta ask Nathan. And uh, he put us in touch and we had dinner. And then so we, yeah. going back to Nathan, how's done. it going? Oh, I mean, uh, that, done. that was like, <laughs> okay, you know Perfect. what? Perfect. He gets a Even round of applause. I'm not gonna lie though, you get partial credit here because you made like kind of like the two halves and then just kind of gave up. This I have no feeling in my yeah, left hand. Floor. It yeah. made it a little more challenging. Hey, good effort though, Thanks. right? Good okay. Effort. Um, I, I want to ask you guys, how did this movie, well, she asked you like how it came to be, but like why did it have so many false starts? Why do you think it was so hard to get going? My co-host Max, he's sitting over there, but he did like a five minute piece on like all the false starts of Uncharted. So like, why do you think that happened? 
Right? How you long wonder. you got? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. You wonder. The, you wonder what's going on behind the scenes. The sometimes version. I'm sure it's scheduled. Sometimes it's Look, like a story argument. Yeah. About like if you were to take Nathan and say, "Hey, you're going to be the star of this," you got to commit. I mean, that's like six to eight months yeah. for a mm -hmm. film of that size. You're going around the world. Yeah. Actors fall out. Directors fall out. Nailing the tone. Everybody's got an opinion. There's a lot of cooks in the kitchen. I think there's been a variety of reasons for it, and. I don't know. It gave us an opportunity. I'm kind of happy it took this long. Yeah, well, an opportunity yeah, we like go. everyone else got yeah. tired of waiting. Just got tired. Yeah. That's a good question about tone. I mean, I thought it was pretty comedic. Like, were you guys worried about, okay, how do we balance this? Do we make it really serious? Like, I mean, it is a pretty serious game. Like, we were talking about, like, serious tear yeah. flow, you know? Mm -hmm. So, well, how did you balance well. that? Yeah. The balance in the game, it goes mm -hmm. from being very funny and it could be goofy at times, but it's balanced with action that could be pretty visceral and you've got yeah. your historic yeah. exposition that comes in every now and then. If it, I was given yeah. a choice of, so the first time I get to see something Uncharted related, right. have, can, will it be sad and, and, uh, and, and, and heavy or fun and light? I would, I would have picked fun and light. Absolutely. Okay. Well, I yeah, it was. It was what great. What Uncharted does so well is that they really, Naughty Dog really nails that balance of like, Here's Nathan Drake. He's saving pe saving people. He's not saving people. He's finding things. And then uh, he maybe saves nobody. He saves, he saves nobody. nobody. <laughs> he's finding things. And then all of a sudden he's like looking at a bad guy and like quips some one liner, right? And like that's the Nathan Drake that I feel like people love. Right. So going to like attention to detail in this thing was really great. I mean, how the aspect ratio changes as you're going into a scene where there would be combat. Everybody like in the aspect ratio. That was everybody uh, loves it. <laughs> love it so what do you think that's like the direction that video game films should go is lean more into the experience that players are having i th i think a lot of people are actually gonna be angry at me for saying this Say if it. this was <laughs> if we were doing this and this was for real and you know studio mm -hmm. i don't know that i would have done that right specifically i don't right. think i would have mm -hmm. i think knowing what this was supposed to be and intended to be I wanted to do this for the fans. Yeah. yeah. And I think that nobody's done it before. We've seen the first person thing done, done ad nauseum. Nobody's done camera coming around and sort of following a character. And it's, it's clearly a trigger for, for gamers who yeah. play. And uh, it's my new hobby is to watch the reaction yeah. videos on YouTube. Well, you guys people created the watching meme, the... the HUD meme with the, with the gun at the bottom, the, <laughs> yeah. the gentleman over there who did an amazing job. We had some really great videos. We had one where like every action scene would have like the button pop up. Like, oh, like a QT. Yeah, 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 it was yeah. super fun. Yeah. See, that's um, the that's the thing that draws people yeah. in it and gets them. Uh, it's a, it's the trigger. It's the this is my. Uh, I love it. Well, the way that yeah. we're inspiring people is how, like that's what we felt going yeah. into this. Yeah. We were inspired by Naughty Dog and the storytelling yeah. and the character. Talking about Naughty Dog, have they been in touch with you guys at all? Have they said anything? They yes. Yeah, so oh, they've been, okay. Tell they've us. Not, like they, they haven't tweeted. Re, yeah, Amy Hennig, who, nice who I guess created. The, the, I mean, the characters, she tweeted me and yeah. said she thought it was fantastic oh, and okay. it, it so warmed cool. her heart to see this 13 years later, she said our baby, something like that. Neil Druckmann, oh. who's now running Naughty Dog, yeah. also put a heart, uh, the former head of Naughty Dog. It's, when you, when you get their support and their praise, it means a lot. It makes you feel good. Yeah, yeah. It, it really does. Okay, I have to ask you about Dr. Horrible. I mean, how yeah. are you, how do you feel about that? 10 year anniversary here. I know. I've, I've been very Dr. fortunate Horrible. in my career to have these uh, roles that uh, seem to be uh, holding a place in people's hearts. And, and thank God, I, the, the, I think the worst thing in the world would be uh, to do something you love and invested in and, and worked really hard on and have people forget it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I love that these things don't die. Never let them die. Never let them die. That's so now I have like 20 Firefly questions for you. Go. No, I'm kidding. I'm absolutely <laughs> That's joking. Fair. But I mean, do you ever get tired of the Firefly questions or no? You, I mean, like you said, you love these roles. You own them. Do I get tired? When people say, is there going to be more? I mean, <laughs> I, I kind of, I mean, I get it. But it's a trap. If, if you were going to find out, do you think it would be like from me on the street? No. <laughs> so is there going to be more? <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, oh gosh, Arnold, well, thank you guys so much. You were absolutely thank awesome. You. We nice. loved Uncharted. That oh, was so great. Amazing. And coming up next, Bill Trinan from Nintendo is here. Just so a super. Oh my gosh, too many S's. I'm Show Jackie us Jing. Super <laughs> Smash Brothers <laughs> Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch. And then we give you our take of the best of Comic Con Day One. You're awesome. Come on, one more time. And we'll get it.